Well, Dr. Life says popular, ain't he? All Russian cartoons, I remember those. Sit around, kids, here's a story. Young little dragster used to watch plenty. Treasure Island, just a small bit. If you're European, you might know cartoons such as Nubagadi or Crocodile Gena. Nubagadi being a ripoff of Tom and Jerry, which was also popular in Estonia. Crocodile Gena, though, that was actually pretty nice. Aega mööda hetki kaugusesse kaob, neid saila miialki ei näe. Kuigi möödun päevi vahest ka hetsed, I didn't get much in Russian, but ah, I love the songs. But none of that fucking Masha and Bear shit. Oh my god, I'm serious, it's fucking everywhere. Kids watch it, even some adults. Ever heard of Land of Legends? It's like Diet Coke Disneyland. They have a Masha and Bear mascot there. It's freaking terrifying. Look at it! Young Draggy would have never expected or condoned this. Maybe he would. I'm, I'm not Young Draggy. I, I do remember though, there was this old penguin cartoon and for some reason there was real blood in it. And these days you're not even allowed to mention death. <laughs> the good days. Death. I also saw an anime once. I think it was called Valley of Wind. It was on Estonian television, dubbed over Estonian people, of course. Uh, really badly though, Estonian dubbing always has the other language still in the background. I'm guessing it's because we don't get the version without the voiceovers. The main odd thing there is that most internet culture is built around America. So, and when I see things that say, if you never had this, you have no childhood, it just confuses me. Like, what the fuck? Anyhow, although the readership shucks, Russia and most of Europe has a rich history and culture. I hope Russia gets fixed up after all this. Safe travels.